too loud, though. Are we too loud? All right, let's bring it down. Let's bring it down a little bit. Gotta mellow it out sometimes. I'm sick of that. She's really been doing a thing. It's a pleasure to have her in the building. Uh, I want y'all to put y'all hands together, man. Uh, K Song. And make sure, she's going to introduce it, but make sure y'all watch the new season of R.B. Divas L.A. All right? All right, uh, I want y'all to show some love for my home with my friend. While uh, they get that together, I guess, for two more minutes, y'all show some love for Archie. Fashion coordinator. How y'all doing? Y'all enjoying the show? Alright, my name is Arch Gray and I'm a part of Fashion East Coast Coordinator 8. And this is my business partner, Keisha Hardison. She's the CEO of the company. Stand up, Keisha. Come on, say. Come on. Y'all tell us to come on stage. Come on stage, Keisha. Alright, so I'm here to announce the first annual Bikers Fashion Show. Now, we partner with Box Cutter Magazine. And 
I don't know if everybody's aware or you even think about it, but the bike community doesn't always get positive, you know, uh, recognition. And I just want to say that these we, we point with these ladies to bring recognition to battered women and the battered women around the Hampton Roads community. Okay? So we thought, you know, what better way to show to, to shed some positive light on both groups, on the fighters community and also battered women. And we came up with doing a fashion show because nobody's ever done it. So we would like for you to come out and support us October 4th. We got some flyers out. We got a little mini commercial that we are putting on YouTube and Facebook and all the, all the media and stuff like that. So please, please come out and support the first annual Bikers Fashion Show and Box Cut Magazine, Battle Women, and the Battle Women Show from around the Hampton Thank y'all. Y'all have a good time. This is Alonzo. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that'll be going on 
And you know, I say, take all those sakes of love. And even though it's a red line and show up here, I know it's scripted. No, it's not, not ours. They don't let us script nothing. So a lot of things you'll see is our natural reaction to things that happen in life. But yeah, this whole season, because we're up to week six, I was like, yo, the whole world is going to see me go through some things. You're going to really see me go through a divorce. You're going to see my children's reaction. You're going to see me react. You know, because hurt people hurt people. So you're going to see me say some things. Because I don't all the time be more than I pray for God He still gives me common sense and lets you know that. I make mistakes, but it, I know how to clean it up. And all of us that, as long as we have breath and air running through your body, you still have a chance to make it right. So don't judge some of the stuff you see on TV. Ah, that was me. Yeah, but that's the reason why we do this. Because if it was you now, you know how to handle it like a mature adult. So uh, take me. So you don't play with nobody's chest, so you might not. So this is <laughs> Loud. 